hey guys what's up and thank you for clicking on the video and welcome to the part 4 tutorial in your adobe after effects training and in today's tutorial people we want to take a look at the layers okay in adobe after effects all right people so let's get started now guys you need to understand that adobe after effects keeps all its layers into the timeline panel okay which is below over here uh, it scratches from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side of the screen this whole broad thing okay it is supposed to be the timeline panel and these different things okay these colored lines over here these red colored lines and you can see that all these different numbered things okay all these pe things people are supposed to be my layers okay now the layers people is a very big thing okay it's a very big subject so therefore guys i'm going to split this subject into two videos okay this is the layers one video and the next is going to be the layers two video in which i like show you how do you like change the properties of the layers okay so that's gonna help you out a lot in your project okay all right so let's focus on today's tutorial all right so uh, on the left hand side of the screen okay people uh, or, or on the timeline you can see that all these different things okay this is the place okay this is the part of the place people where you need to uh, stack up your layers properly all right like if you people have some experience working with adobe photoshop you'll understand that how important it is to stack up your layers properly for creating some very nice effects if, if you take a look at this okay just to explain you people if you take a look at my like my number six layer that is a tj style and my number five layer that is a golden light okay these are supposed this is supposed to be a text layer and this is supposed to be a solid layer and if you see people it is actually overlapping each other all right it is they're actually one top of the other all right so therefore guys it's supposed to be like like it is not supposed to be showing the tj style but sometimes guys what ha what happens is you need to actually have these layers on top of another so that you can have some very nice effects for example if i go to the left hand side of the timeline okay extreme left you can take a look that there are this eyeball icons all right if i remove the eyeball right this icon if i check it out you'll see that the effect all right or this layer the visibility of the layer just goes away and you can see that how dull my text looks and the whole background looks without that layer right if i put the ball in again you can see that the effect and the visibility of the layer just comes back so so that's a very good thing all right we'll just keep moving going on and uh guys now coming to the right hand part of the timeline okay if you take a look at these different colored lines all right right over here uh you're gonna see that they are like like they are not proper okay they are not proportionate they are not uh like equal to one another and this is because people they determine the the size or the or, or say that the length or the duration of the layer appearing in my project all right uh if i put that thing in simple terms you can take a look at this thing right here tutorials for everyone all right if you take a look at that or actually guys uh take a look at this layer tj style all right the cti that is the current time indicator it shows me my starting frame and it tells me guys that if i scrub along the timeline all right and you will see that like yeah this is the end of the layer all right and if i go ahead of that you can see that this is the very ending frame all right the very ending frame the very ending frame of the layer and from this part all right the other layer the tutorials for everyone just starts okay so basically this tells me that you only have tj style tutorial or, or the tj style layer or that text only for three seconds and one frame if you people haven't watched my part three tutorial make sure that you go ahead and watch it because i have explained some really cool things okay about the cti and the and the time code so if you're getting confused about what are those two things uh go ahead and watch my part three tutorial all right the next thing uh, in Adobe After Effects, what I want to show you is uh, that firstly, guys, if you people have any experience with Adobe Photoshop, all right, there is only going to be one kind of a layer. But in Adobe After Effects, people, all right, like I'm just saying because Adobe Photoshop is a very uh, commonly used software, all right, because most of you graphic uh, beginners uh, should always go ahead and start with that. I'm just saying, yeah, like if, if you want to go j j straight away jump to After Effects, that's your thing. I'm just saying that's your decision uh but in, in but in adobe after effects people uh, there are lots of like there are many different kind of layers okay for example i'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition just to explain you all right i'm gonna name it layers and i'm gonna click okay so that okay and there is this white checkered board and actually guys it's actually good this thing is actually gonna favor me if 
for explaining you people what I want to explain. All right. Now, if you see over here, all right, it is a blank checkerboard, and you see, guys, that over here that there are absolutely no layers. Okay, it's a blank timeline, no layers at all. If you scrub the timeline, uh, as in you scrub the current time indicator, you cannot see anything on the program monitor because there are no layers. All right, so let's go ahead and add a few layers. All right. For adding different layers, people, you do a right click on the blank space which is there, okay, in the timeline. You do a right click, go to new, and then, guys, you can take a look at all these different things a Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop file, the adjustment layer, shape layer, null object, camera, light, solid text, all these different things, okay. All these different things, people, are supposed to be different kind of layers. Now, since you guys are beginners, I, I would want to say that the most of the time which you people uh, are going to be using is going to be the camera, the solid layer, and the text layer, and the light layer also, like for some times, right? And the shape layer, guys, I don't really uh, prefer it that much because um, there's there's an absolutely a set of tools, okay, that allows me to make my shapes, right, on the layer itself, right? So I can avoid a layer in my project file, therefore uh, keeping my timeline more clean. But that, that's that's just my personal preference, okay. I, I I can show you different techniques by which you can keep your timeline clean and organized and you so, so that you don't get mixed up with different things, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do a right click and create a quick composition, okay? So so that you guys can have a proper understanding about layers. We're gonna go to new and guys we're gonna start with a background, alright? We're gonna go ahead and do a solid layer. Now if you see it's gonna name itself, it's gonna ask for a layer and guys it is very very important for you to name your layers, okay? I'm going to name it BG or standing background and I'm going to do this button okay which says make comp size so that when the layer comes it up like it takes up the whole space which is there in my timeline okay and I'm going to go ahead and change the color to black and click okay and you can see that we have a layer now in our timeline we have the BG and guys let's go ahead and do some funky thing all right just to explain you people more about layers solid and say actually it's not solid go ahead make a new text layer and i'm gonna just go and type my own name tj style and what the hell kind of font is that it looks good but who the hell made all these different settings and all but and anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and keep uh this thing good i think i like it therefore and uh somewhere over here all right that's thing i'm good oops yeah and guys, this is uh, my basic creation, okay? This is a basic um, startup of an intro, right? Like, I was just thinking to create an intro, but I'm not going to do that, <laughs> right, for some reasons. And guys, now let's go ahead, and actually guys, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly animate this thing, alright? Just to show you guys one thing. I'm going to go ahead and open it down to transform and say scale. I'm going to go ahead and make it really, really small. Oops. Yep. Yeah, somewhere over there. Go go ahead in time. Use my CTI. That's my current time indicator. If you guys want to follow along, it will be really, really great if you follow along. But I'm just saying, if you don't want to, then don't. Fine, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, I'm gonna scrub the CTI uh, ahead in time. That is like I'm gonna go ahead in time. I'm gonna keep it somewhere on 10 seconds and one frame. I think one frame will be good. And then reveal my name. Yeah, something like that. It's gonna be a pathetic animation. But just to explain you people, I think I'm good with it. Alright guys, so let's take a look at what have we got here, alright? Now if you people are wondering that how do you play or something, alright, your player animation. Now I haven't taught you about animation guys, okay, so don't worry, alright, we will get to that part, don't worry, okay. No need to worry at all, we'll get to that part. Uh, but when you people want to play something, okay, like if you have some extra knowledge or if you have gone ahead and found out something about Adobe After Effects, and if you want to play your composition, you, you, you gotta look for this thing right here, okay, it's a preview panel. Now, if you're using the uh, Essentials workspace, all right, I, I've, uh, I've gone ahead and created my own workspace. But if you're using the standard workspace, uh, the thing is going to be somewhere over here, all right. This is the thing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to switch back to my normal workspace, yeah. And uh, make sure that your CTI is on the, like, on the very first frame, or, or at least on that part from where you want to start your animation, okay, or you want to start the playing. And go ahead and click this, the RAM preview. It's going to be the last button, right? Over here. Go ahead and click on that. The, the RAM preview, people, is supposed to be a playing thing, okay? Which basically uh, tells After Effects that After Effects, go ahead and first, you know, you load up all your flames. You do all your calculations, okay? You slowly, slowly, slowly go ahead 
and you know you first display my thing properly and then in one shot you can go ahead and play it properly now you can see this green blue line or this green color line which is right here on top of my layers okay on top of my layers this is supposed to be the loading thing for adobe after effects now if you see guys my animation was only till around 10 seconds okay but if you see this thing is just my CDI keeps playing, keeps playing, okay. And so, 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 so there's basically, you know, again and again going and bringing it back from here, right? And then going doing an after and preview. This is not basically, uh, you know, that much efficient. So what you can do is wherever you want to stop, okay, and you want to make a loop, all right. See a loop, all right. Uh, a loop is supposed to be well a place in your timeline where you want the video to repeat itself, okay. So say I want to create a loop at 10 seconds so that I can again and again keep on playing my video right from 10 seconds it comes my CTI comes to 10 seconds and it jumps back again to the first frame all right so if you want to do that uh, go to the go to the last frame okay where you want your loop to be created right I'm gonna go to this I'm gonna ma manually type in my thing zero uh, zero zero all right just say thousand as 10 seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and press the N key on my keyboard right if I press the N key you'll see that something happened okay something really unusual happened in my timeline now what was that all right let's go and do an undo now if you see this thing right here all right this is supposed to be the work area all right this thing right here I'm not talking about the big thing actually that's a movie <laughs> I downloaded a movie right. sorry for that um you can see this thing right here guys okay this thing right here the time ruler the work area this is called the work area okay and this is the place guys where the cti just keeps on rolling all right so if you want to create a loop right i'm going to go and put in a thousand again and enter so what you can do is you can manually go to this end thing all right and when it says work area end you can drag it to the left and create a loop or like i said you can just go ahead and create a uh, press the N key on your keyboard and create a loop for yourself. So now what will happen is if we go ahead and make an RAM preview of it again, it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go and come on, it's still going. And now take a look at this thing guys, what happens? It just goes back to the first frame and plays again. So that's what our loop is. And if you want to create that, so make sure that you contract your workspace, all right, uh, to the part where you want to have a loop, all right? So that's how you do it. And now what I'm going to come to is, yeah, this part right here. Uh, this part right here, guys, okay, this is supposed to be the zooming area of in Adobe After Effects. Uh, now, I have, like, the way I teach it, it's like the hills and the big mountains. If the scroller, okay, there's a scroller in the middle. If the scroller, people, is supposed to be on the left-hand side, okay, it's on the hills. Basically, it is contracted, right? And if it's on the big mountain side, okay, it you're going to zoom into the place where your CDI is, okay? So I'm gonna go back and zoom out and say that I want to go ahead and keep it on five frames, right? Say 5.03. And then if I zoom in, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and land properly on the place where yeah, that's it. Place where I want it, alright. So, so so that's a very important thing. But guys, uh it's it's not really uh you know important like this is not the way of working like a professional to you know where you want to zoom in you use your cti with your mouse and you know then you keep it over here and then you again go down and press on the zoom in button so, so what we do is guys that we use the keyboard shortcut okay for zooming in into the timeline uh you use the keyboard shortcut of plus key all right take a look at the plus key that will zoom in and if you take a look at the minus key if you press the minus key guys it's gonna zoom out so that's how um, the layers work in Adobe After Effects and yeah, but before closing the video guys um, The final thing which I want to teach to you guys is gonna be the length. Okay Now if you have seen this video or, or this composition, you can see that I've got all these different um, Different lengths okay of my layers. Okay, you can see that this layer is so small Then this is a little bigger this is a little bigger than this So basically how do I get them smaller or bigger? Okay, so so let's have a look at that um, once you have created a layer, okay, go to the end of it, alright, go to the end of it, and when you get this kind of arrow, alright, uh, your mouse pointer just changes to this two-headed arrow, right, click on it, and drag it to the left, if you take, if you drag it to the left, people, you're gonna make the length of your layer smaller, similarly, if you drag it to the right, you're gonna increase the length of your layer, okay, in your, 
time uh, in your project all right so I i'm gonna um, stop my video over here all right thank you so much for watching my video guys in the next video guys you can take a look at uh, the layer properties okay that is scaling your layers opacity of the layers rotation position and all those different things all right so thank you for watching my video people uh, please subscribe me like my video and thank you once again thank you peace